much vibes. Hello my Prissy Glam Babies and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a makeup review on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. If you guys want to see what I think, my honest opinion about this foundation, then keep on watching. Now for the foundation review. Okay, well, this is the packaging of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Now we're going to read these foundation claims. It says that this foundation is a medium coverage foundation with a luminous natural finish. We shall see. It claims that it's vegan, it's gluten free, clinically tested, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, and comedogenic. Suitable for sensitive skin, we shall see because huh, my skin is very sensitive and it's long wearing. Mm. And it claims to have no flashback. I just don't understand why it has this big foundation sign at the back, but to each its own. Okay, guys, I picked up the color 440C. I was in between 420C, which I believe that was my perfect match, and 440. I decided to go with 440. This foundation does come with a pump. That's a plus. Let's try out this bad boy and let's see if it's claim is what it is. For primer today, I will be going in with my Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Primer. This primer is very sticky, so that means your foundation is going to last. Anyways, I'll be taking two pumps of that primer. I'm going to massage it into my fingers. And I'm going to rub that all over my face. God, this primer smells so good. Okay, I'm going to do one side of my face with a brush. And the other side I'm going to do with the Beauty Blender. Just to see if it lives up to its claim. I'm taking two pumps of the foundation. You know, she knew, so we got to give her some time. And I am just going to all over my face. Damn, this is kind of dark. I should have went with the 440, but you know, we're going to make it work. I think it's a pretty good match. I'm glad I didn't go with the 420. Okay, so far, I mean, the coverage is medium because I'm still seeing some of my hyperpigmentation through the foundation. We're going to go in now with another pump. I would say this foundation is buildable. I really like this color. Next, I'll be going in with my Real Techniques Damp Beauty Blender and I'm going to just put two pumps again onto the Beauty Blender and I'm just going to put that on the right side of my face. I like how the beauty blender apply it better. 
I mean, this foundation is definitely medium to full coverage. I mean, I wasn't too crazy about buying this foundation because Anastasia came out with a stick foundation before and that foundation was just not cutting it. Did you guys see what that foundation did to my brow? Oh my God. Don't worry. I'm a boss too. So I'll fix that. Ain't nothing we can fix, baby. She back like nothing ever happened. Mm. Next, I will be going in with my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. And this is in the shade Toasted Almond. When using this concealer, always remember, a little bit goes a long way. This is super full coverage. Okay, now I'm just going to blend that concealer out. I'm just going to bring that concealer all the way down. Same thing on the other side. I'm just going to take my Luxie Small Contouring Brush and I'm going to dip into that powder. And I'm going to just contour my face. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to use this blending brush and I'm just going to contour my nose. Okay, now to set my concealer, I am going in with my absolute favorite setting powder and this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder and this is in the shade Blondie. I'm going to use this Black Beauty Blender and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. Okay, next I will be using my Huda Beauty Blake and Blend brush and I will be using this side and I'm just going to dust off all that excess powder off of my face. To set my face today, I will be going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. And this is in the shade Warm Sand. I'm just going to take my J201 powder brush and I'm just going to set my overall face. For blush today, I will be going in the Saharian Blush Palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm going to be using the shade Toby. I'm just going to put on my little fake smile. Same thing on the other side. For highlighter today, I will be going in with the Herring Glow 
one from Julia's Place. I'm going to put on my little fake smile. For lips today, I will be going in with my Sephora Crayon Mini Lip Liner to go. And I'm just going to use this to line my lips. For lips today, I will be going in with my Sephora Cream Lip Stain, and this is in the shade 78. I know a lot of people don't like this setting spray because it's has a very strong fragrance in it. It smells like perfume. I mean, all Huda's products have that perfume scent to it. So if you're not a person that likes scents in your makeup, um, sweetie, this is not for you. Anyways, I'm going to be taking this and I'm going to set my overall face. Oh my god, I literally feel my eyes burning. I'm just going to take my beauty blender, my beauty blender, and I'm going to spray the butt of it. And I'm just going to take the sponge and I'm just going to press that setting spray into my face. Now this is gonna make, this is gonna help, I should say, to make my foundation last all insane. Anyways, my glam divas, this is the final look. I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation. Anyways, my glam babies, this complete my makeup review for today. I hope this video helps someone out there that was thinking to purchase this foundation i mean go ahead and do you if that's what you want to do then you go ahead and you pick that baby up I, mean, I honestly do like the foundation i don't love it but i do like it and i honestly feel if you already have the nars radiant longwear foundation there's no point in you going out to get the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I believe, honest to God, that it is the exact dupe of the NARS Long Wear Foundation. I mean, look at the packaging. It's like almost the same. The same thing. Take a look at this. Doesn't this look like the same exact thing? I mean, 
yeah that's my opinion about it anyways my glam babies i love you guys i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to hit that like button make sure you hit the subscribe button come on it's free uh, make sure you comment down below let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about this makeup look love you guys and i'll see you in my next video ciao